is the world's performing arts capital. Everything from Broadway to ballet is just a few blocks away from where I sit right now. Unfortunately, in a city this culturally rich, not every kid has access to the same opportunities. That's where my next guest comes in. He's the co-director of Ballet and Beyond NYC, which offers free lessons in dance and musical theater to kids all over New York, and that is what makes him a rad human. Please welcome Carlton, everybody. Yeah. So, welcome to the show. I think this is such a beautiful thing. Thank like, you so much I would have benefited. Me. I didn't have money when I was a kid either, so free lessons is a, how I would survive on anything. So, ballet is the foundation of your program. Right? Every student that comes through the program has to take ballet training. Yeah. But we also do modern and hip hop and we, uh, musical theater and acting. Uh, and the program is completely free for the students. That's and, you know, amazing. We have the most amazing teaching artists that are performing all over the world in touring companies and on Broadway and on film. And you know, I toured with uh, the Tina Turner musical. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. I love her. And so fun fact, in 2003, I sang behind you for the Macy's. Uh, oh, for the thing, the for fireworks thing. July. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, what, that's amazing. What a full circle moment yes. we're having right now. So wait, tell us about, about how you teach, like what you teach. Um, I, I specialize in musical theater. We, we serve students that are from 8 to 16 years old, and they come from all around the cities, very diverse backgrounds. And, you know, we believe in uh, disrupting scarcity in the arts environment. You mm -hmm. know, uh, not everybody is going to... Uh, make the audition, or not everybody is going to be like cast in the show. But as teaching artists, it's not our responsibility to weed out the talent, but to grow a beautiful big garden with unique flowers. Yes. You know, and the things that they do with the gifts that we give them are completely up to them. Yeah, but and imagine the confidence that builds, like everything. I just think the arts are so important, like for especially young kids growing up and awkward times, like with, it's hard, like puberty, all that kind of stuff. And like, but I had arts to lean on, like really molded my personality. And the fact that you're giving this access to kids that don't have that access or opportunity or financial means is incredible. So yes, thank you. It doesn't matter like what kind of background. Yeah. That and you would have benefited, right? When you yeah. were a kid, you would have benefited as well, right? No, totally. Um, Growing up in the city, you know, there was, uh, I lost my father to gun violence. Mm -hmm. And you know, my mother is a New York City police officer and I come from a big family. You know, I was basically raised by my sister. And it's hard in a big family to really like establish who you are or to even have a place to uh, put all of the things that I was experiencing. And if it wasn't for programs like Impact Repertory Theater and Songs of Solomon and the Respect Project, like, you know, were places where I was really able to find myself and, and to be able it. to mm -hmm. uh, turn my pain into power. Mm -hmm. And you know, that was like your performing with Tina um, and uh, also like you know fun fact full circle moment um, my aunt was in the touring company of Wicked and she uh, toured Wow! Yeah. The Myra Lucretia Taylor, you know, oh. she was, she's an inspiration. So, you know, watching her being able to grow up, you know, but it takes a village to, to, yeah. to raise a child. And so I benefited from somebody seeing my talent and saying, yes, I see where you are and offering me opportunities that I wouldn't have experienced any other way and yeah. also completely free to me. Yeah, no, me too, same. All right, well, we need to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to meet some of Carlton's students and hear how this program has changed their lives. Don't go away. Oh, welcome back. Before the break, we met today's rad human, Carlton, the co-director of Ballet and Beyond It's a nonprofit that gives free ballet and performing arts lessons to kids in New York. And we have two of those kiddos joining us now. Say hi to Nora and Amir, everybody. So Amir, I'm gonna start with you. Did you know anything about ballet before this? So when I started in PAC, I knew nothing about, about, about ballet. Yeah. When I started ballet, the teacher, the demonstration, she was moving around crazy. <laughs> I never knew what to do. But from the help from the counselors, the director, yeah. the campers, everybody, they helped so, so much. Yeah, look at you having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love it. Um, so I'm mean, gonna, Nora, like you started with the program when you were 10, right? Yeah. Yeah, so what is it, what has it meant for you? I mean, it's been amazing. Like after my first summer with Ball and Beyond, Michelle, one of the co-founders, she encouraged me to audition for Steps on Broadway. Yeah. That's where I currently train. And Steps on Broadway is a dance studio here in the city. And it's just been amazing. Like dance has been a, a part of my life since then. It's honestly, it's changed my life for the better. And 
it's makes makes me who I am today. Oh man, doesn't it feel good dancing? Yeah. I love it. Just moving your body. I think we forget the older we get. Don't forget to do that. <laughs> I look like a crazy older woman in my house just dancing by myself. Um, I don't care. Um, but the program is it, successful, Carlton. But you say it, it still does struggle, right? Yes, every year, you know, we face, you know, financial challenges. The program is completely free. So down to, like, you know, um, what the kids wear, uniforms and ballet shoes, we provide everything. We just ask for them to show up. Like, you know, this summer we were able to take our kids to see three Broadway shows. So yeah. they saw Hell Kitchen. They saw Wicked. You know, and Those are life-changing moments, man, when right. you take them to something like no, that. No, but yeah. the theater, it just opens up your mind, you know, yeah. and to be able to... To, to see that and to have those experiences and to interface, you know, it, it, it really changes you and you never know like what's possible, but like mm -hmm. it's, it's important for us to raise the money and like as long as they show up, we're gonna do everything that's within our power to, you know, give them everything that, that we can. And you know, this year was tough. Like we lost, we lost money and we didn't know how we were going to uh, house the program or like how we were gonna pay for things, you know? Yeah. And our founding director, Michelle, she was diagnosed with leukemia at the beginning of the summer. Mm -hmm. And so, but like, you know, she's in recovery. She had a bone marrow transplant, and she um, is continually advocating for the young people. She was sending out emails. She was doing admin work. She was making sure finding money so that, like, you know, these kids, like, every step of the way. So, like, I wish that Michelle was right here because we really are a duo. But, like, yeah. you know, um, no matter what the world could have put against us, like who we are and who, like our responsibility to these young people mm -hmm. mean more than anything. And so we did what we had to do to make it happen. And we will continue to do it yes. joyfully. <laughs> yes, well, well, wait. So Invisible Narratives are makers of the interactive dance game, Make It Dance, in collaboration with Cost and Mayor. And Invisible Narratives wants to help you give more kids the opportunity to dance. So they're gonna donate $5,000 to your oh, organization. Wow. <laughs> never been able to have any access or opportunity. We had no money. So I'm going to double it. I'm going to give $5,000 too. So y'all have $10,000. Thank you so much. It's a really cool thing that you're doing. Like, good luck. I keep dancing. I keep doing ballet. Your moves look good. Um, let's take a short break, everybody. We have one more Wicked-related story when we come back. Stay right here.